In the 1950s, our nearest neighbour, the planet Venus, was still a mystery. It was shrouded in clouds and nobody could really see its rocky surface. So nobody could accurately measure the distance from Earth to Venus. This was really important because we were about to use Venus as a launching slingshot planet to launch satellites into deep solar system orbits. So how far exactly is Earth to Venus? Leading MIT Lincoln Labs had invented radar astronomy, sending powerful radar signals from Earth to the Moon and measuring its distance accurately. So they started looking for Venus. When they got the signal back, it was just noise. It was as if it had vanished. So, let's call on Chodrell Bank. The British very large disc steerable, which also secretly was a radar station. And they looked for Venus and they found nothing. Venus had vanished. It was not until nearly six years later that the Goldstone Telescope found the missing planet. Where had it gone? And why didn't we know where it was? The answer is brilliant. The original way we knew where Venus is, is by looking at the transit of Venus. The transit of any planet is where it transits the surface of the Sun. And this was done very accurately, but in the 19th century. And from that transit, we worked out Venus's orbit. Hmm. Not quite good enough for sending a spacecraft to Venus. It turned out to be a 100,000 miles off. So when MIT and Jodrell Bank looked for the planet Venus with radar, it wasn't there. They were just way off. In the summer of 1962, final preparations were underway for the first US attempt to reach Earth's nearest planetary neighbor. Venus provided the best chance for a spacecraft to reach its destination. The spacecraft, though, was not what JPL engineers had first planned on sending. So JPL's Mariner 2 was the first satellite to use Venus as a slingshot to accelerate its orbit out into deep space. And today we use it all the time as a kind of a roundabout to get speed up to go to places like Saturn, brilliant Venus, but we needed to know where it was or else whoosh, sent towards the sun. Goldstone engineers sent roll, pitch and velocity commands to the spacecraft. The motor is fired and shuts off on time. Now we must wait. New tracking data will determine if the flight path has been corrected. 
the hunt for Venus meant that radar astronomy, and this isn't radio astronomy, so radio astronomy looks at distant signals coming from objects, usually extra galactical, and we measure their pulse. Obviously, optical astronomy uses our visual wave wavelengths. Infrared astronomy uses infrared, but radar astronomy sends out a radar beam from our planet and looks for a return. This has been very useful. As a piece of extra information, our moon is going away by two inches a year. The truth is out there. Thank <laughs> you.